I am Karan Bhatia chatting with Bryce Hall. We've seen him on YouTube, TikTok, everywhere. And he's now going to be entering Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship on August 11th, taking on G Perez. Bryce, I know you're taking on this new challenge. How are you doing, my friend? Oh, dude, I'm good. I'm feeling great. I'm just like at that point where it's it's like a week and a half away and I kind of just want to I just want to fight now. Like, I just want to do it. Like, I'm, I'm on the come down of like training camp. I'm just ready to fight. You've had such a successful career with TikTok and content and YouTube, everything. Why did you decide to now get punched in the face? <laughs> because my friend, it's a, it's a very viral moment. And that's what I'm good at. I like creating viral moments. And I feel like August 11th is going to be an extremely monumental moment for the internet. I know we've seen other influencers, people from, let's say, similar backgrounds go into boxing. Um, you're you're choosing bare knuckle here. Uh, and I know you've competed in boxing before. But one, one thing about bare knuckle, you said you're doing it because it's different, right? So it's it's important for you to to be different, right? Correct. And And I wanted to ask you, I know that you've had a lot of Street fights. You said you had over 40 street fights. Uh, and one thing I about did. street fights is it is bare knuckle for a street fight. So in a way, I know this is your first time competing in BKFC, but you've had experience with bare knuckle fighting before. I have. I've been punched in the face bare knuckle before. Yes. Um, I, I know one of the things you said was that uh, you've had a total of four months training under your belt. You're better than 90% of, of YouTube boxers who have trained. Um, and, and we've seen this in your training. And I wanted to ask you about your training. You're taking this really seriously. You're working with BKFC veteran Lorenzo Hunt. So what has training been like for you? Um, I stand by that statement. I am better than 90% of all uh, YouTube boxers that have been training for years. I'm a fast learner. I'm athletic. Uh, and I know how to like throw punches. Um, the the difference between traditional boxing training and training with like Lorenzo or any other BKFC veteran, um, there's a lot of grappling. And my background, most people don't know, is I was a wrestler. So I'm going to use that. It, it, it like was extremely helpful learning the, I guess, dirty boxing that bare knuckle can be. Um, fighting in on the inside, you can grab the back of the neck, throw uppercuts. Like it's, it's like a lot of grappling in bare knuckle. And I'm extremely comfortable with that type of stuff. You're taking on G Perez. That that's your opponent. He's actually three and O undefeated in BKFC. Uh, so this isn't going to be an easy fight by any means. I'm sure you've, you've watched tape. You've studied him. What's, what's the game plan for G Perez? I think he's going to want me to come to him. Um, I know I'm going in there as a massive underdog, so I don't have to show anything. I don't need to prove anything. Um, I think his game plan is to wait for me to fuck up and then counter me with a punch. I've watched all of his tapes. Uh, me and Lorenzo were saying that's not going to happen. I could sit back and just wait for this guy to come to me. And then once, once he's in my range, that's where he's fucked. He's the smaller guy. I pack some power under my punches and he's never been hit by, by someone as big as me. And where do you feel like you, you mentioned you being the bigger guy physically, mentally, emotionally, where, where do you, who, who do you think has the answer? Cause what I've, what I've seen in the buildup is he seemed to get emotionally got in your face. You seemed a little bit more calm, cool, collected, ready for the moment. Where do you think it is going mentally going into this fight? Um, I'm already in his head. I think, I think he knows that there is a slight chance, regardless of what he says and what the outside world says, that there is a chance that I knock him out. And there is a chance that I land a, uh, a clean punch that could change the trajectory of the fight. Um, there, th there's no pressure on me. Why, why am I going to get amped up for this fight? Like I'm the underdog. I'm the one that that's expected to go in there and get my ass kicked. I have nothing to prove. I'm going in there for fun. He's going in there because that's his life. So I'm calm and collected this entire thing. And I'm going to go in there and do my thing. Like I don't have anything to prove. I'm going to go in there and I'm going to do everything that I train to do. It's a good mindset to have. And that leads me to my next question. Do you have an official prediction for August 11th? Will you knock out G Perez? He says he's not going to knock me out. He's going to bring me uh, all five rounds to cut up my face. Uh, my prediction, my actual prediction is that I'm going to knock him out. 
in the neck and in, in like the first two rounds. I don't see this going the the distance at all. That's not what I've been training to do. Um, and I know for a 100% fact, he cannot take one of my punches. We, we spoke about your feeling about your training and compared to other people from YouTube and things like that. I'm sure you've seen uh, Jake Paul fight KSI, all of these guys from the YouTube background now having success in combat sports. Um, what do you think about the the landscape and, and influencers getting into the game and, and how you see yourself playing into the landscape with other influencers in combat sports? I think a lot of the, the influencers think that they're legitimate boxers and this is like a, a career path that they want to go down, even though most of them in their, are, are already in their late twenties um, and have only been doing this for a max of like three, four years. Um, I think it's very delusional for a lot of these creators to think that they're actual fighters. I think it's great entertainment. And I think celebrity boxing, influencer boxing is great for the sport because it brings more eyes to uh, the the professionals that have actually been doing this for their entire life. And it gives them the opportunity for bigger paydays. But I think uh, KSI and like all those guys thinking that they're legitimate fighters and that people should be scared of them is absolutely ridiculous. I would spit in all of their faces with no, no worry at all. If a real fighter was in front of me and I spit in their face, I'd be scared for my life. These guys are jokes. I think all of the influencer boxers are jokes. That's why I'm doing bare knuckle. You're challenging yourself here on, on bare knuckle, which we know is, is a really dangerous sport. Uh, if you were to match up in some of these mythical matchups, how, how do you think a fight would play out for, for example, you versus Jake Paul? Jake Paul, I think, is the only one in the influencer scene that I would respect for, for boxing. Um, I think his weight's too heavy for me anyways. I don't think I would go in there and get absolutely fucked up, though. If I had like a, a year under my belt, I I guarantee I could hold my own. And I know you've called out KSI as a, as a future opponent. I know you want to fight KSI. How, how would a fight play out between you and KSI? Oh, I know I would fuck up KSI. I like, I actually, a lot of people are going to hate that. I even say that, but I know for a 1 million percent fact, I'm so confident in my ability that I would fuck him up with, with the training that I have right now, four months, I, I can go in there tomorrow and fuck him up. And is that, is that like the dream opponent for you in terms of the matchup that you want going forward in, in fighting? Yeah, I kind of want to just do uh, probably three, three more uh, influencer boxing matches. Um, I want that Austin awesome McBroom rematch. I want Deji, which is KSI's little brother. I want to beat Deji. And then I want to go uh, to KSI so he can avenge his brother. And then I want to fuck him up. And then I could be like, okay, I'm done. I just want to humble KSI. I think he thinks he's like, I think he just thinks he's like this, this anime super villain. Um, and I kind of just hate the way he thinks he's, he's the shit. So um, I, I've talked to him. He's, he's a, uh, he's very delusional. He's a delusional guy. He thinks he's God and he's far from it. One punch across his jaw. He's, he's, he's on the floor. I guarantee it. Do you feel like there's like a little bit of, of arrogance there from, from KSI? A little bit, a massive bit, uh, a massive bit of arrogance, delusion, and idiocy. You you mentioned uh, a rematch with Austin McBroom, and that was the one time we saw you competing in there in amateur boxing. Uh, you showed a lot of heart. When, one time when you got knocked down, I, I saw you looking to the ref saying you wanted to continue. Um, so you obviously I never you got knocked to be down in that fight. When you I were got thrown, pu pushed down, I, I, yeah, I got thrown on the ground. Uh, yeah, I think, uh, I mean, that was Austin McBroom's event. He, he paid the refs, he paid everybody. Like, so, uh, it's obviously going to be in his favor. And I knew going into that fight with only two months of boxing experience, um, that it was going to be favored by him if it went the distance. Um, I was not focused on my training throughout that camp. That camp was mainly for my entertainment. Uh, I was the one that was selling all the tickets and I was doing like mostly the, the promo because Austin McBroom didn't have the budget to uh, to put uh, marketing down. He thought the social media people would do all the marketing, but nobody did. So I took it into my own hands to uh, do the entire marketing for the entire Social Gloves event. 
And then you saw the second time that they fought on social gloves that it failed absolutely miserably. This time, this camp, I focused purely on the training aspect. Now I have like the entertainment and the training aspect to back up everything that I'm talking now. So it's, it's, it's completely different. I guarantee, I know, I know all these people that I've named, I know that I've beat them. I, I know now I would a hundred percent beat them. Anyone who follows your social media now can see that you are taking training very seriously with Lorenzo Hunt. You're put, you're posting clip, you're, you're hitting pads. You're taking training very seriously for August 11th. When we did see you the last time out in, against Austin McBroom, obviously the comment at the end of the fight, you said, I'm not a boxer, not a fighter, never claimed to be a fighter. Do you, do you regret saying that now looking back? Uh, no, I, 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 this is not my profession. I'm not a fighter. Like I'm literally just a, a social media entertainer. I, I'll do any form of entertainment and I want to dip my toes in every single form of entertainment, whether it's acting, interviews, fighting, like I want to do everything. Um, but the way that I worded it, building up to the fight, yeah, completely contradicted myself. So yeah, I did, I did sound pretty dumb, but I was also punched in the face a bunch, 30,000 people were in the audience and millions were watching. So I was like, I don't know what to say here after taking a public L. Yeah. So I, I, I know that, you know, you've built up your audience and I've always said for boxing combat sports, I, I welcome people from other backgrounds, bringing in their fans and their eyeballs. I think it's a good thing. Um, I'll, I'll leave you with this last question. I know you posted this on, on TikTok recently. You said, once you win this fight on August 11th, you may on the post fight interview this time say, I am a fighter. I am a boxer. I always claim to be. And you asked, will the crowd be upset or will they cheer? So let me ask you, what, how do you think the crowd will react if, if you do say that post fight? I think the the bare knuckle audience that's going to be in the crowd is going to be like, what the fuck is, is he talking about? <laughs> but I think the internet would have like an absolute frenzy over it. Yeah, I'm totally going to say that after I win. Bryce Hall, I want to thank you so much for the time. Your next challenge is on bare knuckle fighting championship. It's on August 11th. You're taking on undefeated G Perez. Best of luck to you. And thank you so much for the time. Thank you so much.